Hello everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me Vanessa speaking for Woki, because it's the weekend and Dragalia keeps releasing new shit during the only two days Woki can't record. Anyway let's look at the new units coming with the Gala Banner. Humanoid Zodiac. Skill 1 Haiti Cluster. Grants the user 3 stacks of the Malevolent Rush effect. Malevolent Rush grants the user a third attack in their standard attack combo. This attack consumes one stack of Malevolent Rush, dispels one enemy buff, and, if dealt from directly next to foes, applies Spite. Spite has five levels. Skill 2 Death's Torrent. Deals damage to surrounding enemies and inflicts Shadow Blight. If this attack hits an enemy that has the Spite effect, it will deal bonus damage based on the effect's level. This bonus damage ignores the enemy's defense. Ko Ability. Gauge Accelerator plus 20%. Chain Ko Ability. Team Strength Amp equals Blindness Res plus 100%. Abilities. Shadow Wyrm's Nature 2. Reduces susceptibility to curses by 100% and increases damage to enemies with spite by 15%. When shapeshifting for the first time, the user will transform into Zodiac regardless of what dragon they are equipped with. The second time onwards, they will transform into High Zodiac instead. Also, using the user's first or second skills will grant them a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 1. Paralysis Res plus 100%. Spectral Counter 2. When the user takes damage, fills 10% of their Dragon Gauge and, if they have already shapeshifted at least once, creates a Spectral Flame where they took damage. This Spectral Flame will detonate after 3 seconds, dealing damage to surrounding enemies and applying Spite to them. After activating, these effects will not activate again for 15 seconds. Gala Elysium. Holy Bastion. Reduces damage taken by the entire team and grants them a Divergent Shield, Team Defense Amp, and Team Critical Damage Amp. Abilities. Holy Wyrm's Grace V. If the user is attuned to light, increases strength by 60%, defense by 30%, and HP by 30% and grants one of the following. Additional effects based on the user's unit type. Attack, increases strength by 30%. Defense, increases strength, defense, and HP by 15%. Support, increases skill gauge fill rate by 30%. Healing, increases HP by 30% and skill gauge fill rate by 15%. Holy Wyrm's Judgment 2. Fills 50% of the Dragon Gauge at the start of quests and extends shapeshift time by 100%, but doubles the amount of Dragon Energy required to shapeshift. Also, grants the user a Dragon Strike while shapeshifted as Elysium. This Dragon Strike deals damage to enemies directly ahead. The maximum amount of the Dragon Gauge that abilities can fill at the start of quests will be limited to 50% for the entire team. So those are the units. They also release Gala Meme Spiral Info, but because Woki loves Meme he doesn't need to see what she does to know she is good. As for the units the main draw here is Gala Elysium. They built this boy strong. Huge boy, absolute massive boy with that kit. It makes sense because the closer we get to a celebration the better the Gala units get to make you summon. With Gala Nix and Gala Elysium Light has a lot of strong dragons. All limited, as is tradition. As for Human Zodiac nothing really pops out to me unit-wise. I do like that he runs on Spite. The sentence Spite has give levels is easily the funniest thing Dragalia has written. He would be nice to get but if you are pulling and get Elysium early then I would suggest you stop summoning. Unless you're a big fan of his human form. As a fan of Meme Woki is no place to judge you or to really stop you. And that is it everyone. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end of the video. It's not ideal that Woki has to record this way, but he sees it as a means to an end. If that is the right way to say it. This is Vanessa saying have a good day, have a good night, 
and we shall see you next time. I can't fucking believe I misspelled Fiverr's give.